We are on day number two of our Bible reading schedule. This is session number one. We're going to read Genesis chapter 3, chapter 4, and chapter 5 together. The Genesis chapter 3 outline, The serpent deceives Eve. Both she and Adam transgress the divine command and fall into sin and misery. God arraigns them. The serpent is cursed. The promised seed. The punishment of mankind. Their first clothing their expulsion from paradise. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree? Whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat. And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, and sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand, and take also the tree of life, and eat, and live forever." Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Genesis chapter 3 outlined, The serpent deceives Eve. Both she and Adam transgress the divine command and fall into sin and misery. God arraigns them. The serpent is cursed the promised seed, the punishment of mankind, their first clothing, their expulsion from paradise. Genesis chapter 4 outline, the birth, occupation, and offering of Cain and Abel. Cain murders his brother Abel. The curse of Cain has a son called Enoch and builds a city which he calls after his name, his descendants with Lamech and his two wives, the birth of Seth and Enos. Genesis chapter 4, verse 1. And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, 
and said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel's brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold, and the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch, and he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begot Mahujael, and Mahujael begot Methusael, and Methusael begot Lamech. And Lamech took on him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Zillah. And Ada bare Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. And Zillah, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer and Bryce. Brass and iron, and the sister of Tubal Cain was Naamah. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth, for God said she hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter 4 outline the birth, occupation, and offering of Cain and Abel. Cain murders his brother Abel. The curse of Cain has a son called Enoch and builds a city which he calls after his name, his descendants with Lamech and his two wives, the birth of Seth and Enos. Chapter 5 outline, recapitulation of the creation of man, the genealogy, age, and death of the patriarchs from Adam to Noah, the godliness and translation of Enoch, the birth of Noah, etc., Genesis 5, starting there in verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam and the day that God created man in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. And Adam lived in 130 years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years, and he begot sons and daughters. 
And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. And Seth lived in 105 years and begot Enos. Seth lived after he begot Enos 807 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. And Enos lived 90 years and begot Canaan. And Enos lived after he begot Canaan 815 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were 905 years, and he died. And Canaan lived 70 years and begot Mahalalil. And Canaan lived after he begot Mahalalil 840 years and begot sons and and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years, and he died. And Mahalalil lived 60 and 5 years, and begot Jared. And Mahalalil lived after he begot Jared 830 years, and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalalil were 890 and 5 years, and he died. And Jared lived in 160 and 2 years, and he begot Enoch. And Jared lived after he begot Enoch 800 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were 960 and two years, and he died. And Enoch lived 60 and five years and begot Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah 300 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And Methuselah lived in 180 and seven years, and begot Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begot Lamech 780 and two years, and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were 960 and nine years, and he died. And Lamech lived in 180 and two years, and begot a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, this same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. And Lamech lived after he begot Noah five hundred ninety and five years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Lamech were seven hundred seventy and seven years, and he died. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Genesis 5 outline, recapitulation of the creation of man, the genealogy, age, and death of the patriarchs from Adam to Noah, the godliness and translation of Enoch, the birth of Noah, etc. So that concludes day number two, Bible reading, session number one. That was Genesis chapter 3 through Genesis chapter 5. You have a good day. God bless you.